Welcome to Cooking with Bobby Joe. Bobby Joe's mom here with another drool worthy human treat. Today I'm going to show you how to make one of my favorite side dishes, grits cakes. And if you like grits, you'll love these. They are made from leftover grits, and usually when I cook grits, I always make extra so there will be leftovers. That way the next day we can have grits cakes. So this is how I make my grits, and you can make your grits however you like. I change up my grits recipe depending on what I'm having with my grits. I use stone ground grits. I'm not an instant grit kind of person, so I've never tried making these out of them, but you could try it. I would say it would work as long as you let your grits set long enough. I get my grits from the old mill store in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. If you've never been there, you should really go and check it out. They have freshly ground grits, flour, cornmeal, all sorts of things. I buy a five pound bag of Yellowstone ground grits for $8.99 and that lasts us about a year. My husband is going to be going up there on a trip soon and I'm going to make him out a shopping list. He got white corn grits last time, but I prefer yellow. So for this recipe, you need four cups of chicken broth. 2 cups of stone ground grits, salt and pepper to taste, a tablespoon of garlic powder, a stick of butter, and a fourth a cup of cream cheese. You pour the chicken broth into a pot and you bring it to a boil. You add in your butter, you let it melt. and you add in your salt, your pepper, your garlic powder. Then you return to a boil. You get out a whisk and while you are whisking slowly you add in your grits. Whisk your grits good to make sure there are no lumps. You reduce your heat to low and let it simmer until the grits thicken. Once they start to thicken, you can add in your cream cheese. You stir until the cream cheese is melted. These grits take about 20 minutes to cook. I check on them every few minutes and stir to make sure they aren't sticking to the bottom of my pan. I know a lot of people will just throw out their leftover grits because they harden and they think they aren't good for anything anymore and that is wrong, wrong, wrong. Anytime I have leftover grits, I spray down a dish with non-stick cooking spray. I pour the grits in, I let them cool down. Then I put plastic wrap over the top and I press it down on the grits and then I put it in the fridge. I usually do this overnight and then make grits cakes the next day, but you just need to do it until the grits are set. You want to make sure you have your oil heating on medium heat and you can make whatever type of batter you prefer. I change it up based on what I'm cooking. So today I'm frying up some flounder so I'm just going to use the same mixture I use with the flounder. So I pour about a cup of southern biscuit mix and a cup of cornmeal mix together in a dish and then I add in salt, pepper, and garlic powder. Take your grits out of the fridge, remove the plastic wrap, and you cut them into whatever shapes you prefer. Some people use a biscuit cutter and cut them into circles. Other people cut them into triangles. I just cut them. Don't care what how they turn out. They're usually squares or rectangles or something like that. If you want to be a thicker batter, you can dip these grit cakes into eggs and then into the flour mixture. I'm going with a lighter batter so I'm just going to take each piece, dip it in the flour mixture and then into the frying pan. You want to fry it until it's lightly golden brown and then drain on a paper towel on a dish towel. Mm -hmm. 
They are soft and delicious inside and a little crunchy on the outside. You can save them and reheat them in the oven the next morning. They are delicious with eggs and bacon, a little bit of gravy on top of the grits cake. That is definitely drool worthy. So remember this the next time you have some leftover grits. The flavors are endless because grits can be made in so many different ways. Thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to drop me a comment to let me know you stopped by. Also, don't forget to check out Bobby Joe's Facebook page. I try to post a few updates a week on there, and I've been falling behind on a lot of things lately. She's doing great. She's been having a ball. It makes me so happy to see her run and play like a puppy should. Well, I hope y'all have a blessed week and enjoy your grits cakes. Bye for now.